Hi everyone, this is Michelle. So today let's talk about the story of Hosea. Do you know him? He's a prophet. So I got to know him only a few days ago when I watched the movie Amazing Love. If you're interested to watch that movie, I'm very gladly to, sh to share with you where I watch it. So you can check the description below for the link. Okay? So, I'll just narrate this story. So, after I watched the movie, I read the Bible to get to know him more. So, this Bible that I was looking at. Uh, it's a Catholic version, and the publisher is the American Bible Society. Okay, so Hosea lived in the northern kingdom of Israel. It is before the Israel fell to the Assyrian in 722 BC. So, what's so interesting about this? Uh, prophet is that while he was still single God spoke to him and told him to marry a, a, a wife who will be unfaithful to him can you imagine that brothers and sisters um, it, it was so amazing for me to, to realize that um, it, that it's a big challenge, a really, really challenging experience to our prophet Hosea. So, okay, Hosea married uh, a woman named Gomer. She was a daughter of Diblaim. So you can imagine how she looks like. I uh, would say she's beautiful, very pretty. Um, uh, I would also say that she is a materialistic person because she can be easily swayed by rich men. And, and so in, during the marriage, she become unfaithful to Hosea. And Hosea knows that. Can, can you imagine the pain that Hosea was experiencing? Or ex Hosea experience, it was too painful. You can imagine, right? So that's uh, what draws me to this uh, to this book. It's it's really, really like a current um, scenario for many people. You know, like you gave everything to the person and that person left you. The only thing that's different is that before it happened, he already knows it's going to happen because God's told him. Anyway, let's go back to the story. Uh, Hosea and Gomer had three children. So uh, it was a son, daughter, and a son. So the first son name was Jezreel. The second uh, child is named as Unlove. And the third child is named as not my people. So all these names uh, it came from God. So the first name, the first one, the name Jezreel. Uh, Jezreel basically was a city, and Jehu assassinated the king of Israel and the royal family. So God is not happy with that and and he was he made, he wants to make a point about that so he he will punish that um he will punish Jezreel the ancestor of Jeff the ancestors of the current king so in the bible it says it will not be long before I punish the king of Israel for the murders that his ancestor Jehu committed at Jezreel. That's what God says to Hosea. And for the second child, uh, the name of the child was Unlove. It's because 
uh, our God was angry to Israel. Basically, um, God says that I will no longer show love to Israel, but for Judah, I will show love. I, the Lord, your God, will save them, but I will not do it by war. So that's what God says. And for the third child, its name is not my people. It's because Israel, God says that Israel is no longer my people and I am no longer their God. So, yeah. You can imagine the, the severity of disappointment and frustration of our God to Israel. But even that, okay, let's go back to the story. Um, you know that Gomer left Hosea for another man. And you know also that uh, Hosea was preaching in the town and he is the talk of the town for the affair of Gomer because of the affair of Gomer and what's striking is that um, our God told Josea to uh, our God told Josea to go and met and uh, to go and love her again as I love the Israelites at I love the Israel. So Hosea bought uh, Gomer for 15 silver and seven barley, seven bushels of barley. It's probably all his savings and everything. He gave it to the one who he sold her. So, what lesson can we learn about this is that our God is very patient with us and He loves us even we turn our backs to Him. He, he is very lovable and, and very merciful. And I do hope that we are also merciful to one another. That's another lesson that I that we should learn that even though people are hurting us, we should love them. We should love we should hate their sin but love the person. So I hope you like this story and I hope that um, you you learn as I learn as well. And have a good day. And I hope that I'll see you again. Please subscribe. Thank you.